Good morning from Udaipur here in India. I'm back with the man, the myth, the legend, yeah. Gautam, and we are heading to, uh, you said Rajasthan's best egg wallet, huh? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get some breakfast. You all know how much I love egg, how much I love cheese, cheese paratha, all that kind of stuff. So apparently this is the best egg wallet in all of Udaipur and all of Rajasthan. So we're gonna see if it lives up to the expectations. Go get some breakfast. They sell chai there as well. No, no, no chai. All right, just omelette and uh, eggs. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know it's good. So, Shalom, we'll uh, bring you along for the journey. Let's do it. Udaipur is just such a beautiful city. You have the lakes everywhere, all around the city. You have beautiful buildings and architecture all around. Uh, I'm absolutely loving this place. It's just so nice being by the water. The uh, the cool, crisp air. Well, it's also cool here in the summer of Rajasthan, but it's a, it's a different vibe out here on the water, I tell you that much, but it's such a beautiful city to, to roam around in. And there's actually a lot, of, a lot to do. As you saw yesterday, we went to like the Backyard Cafe. It's super nice, super chill vibe, something kind of similar to like, kind of like Bali vibes uh, or, or something like that. Really nice modern cafe where you can get some really good food and everything, but there's tons of those kind of really chill cafes all around Udaipur and uh, plenty of things to do. So this city, it's, uh, it's honestly one of my favorites here in, uh, in India. It's, it's really like living up to the expectations. I was here in uh, 2020 for a few days and uh, it, honestly, this, this trip here has been better than that one. So I'm loving it here. So far, so good. But what will make this trip even better is a bit of egg from uh, the famous Eggwala. That's literally the name. That's the name, right? Famous yeah. Eggwala? Yeah. All right. If the actual name has famous in it, then surely it's gonna be uh, pretty damn good. But yeah, let's do it. So many markets and street sellers, you know, you got fruit, you got shoe cleaners, uh, fresh sugarcane juice just there. And uh, I think we are coming up on it shortly. Maybe one of these shops. Uh, just here, but yes, honestly, so much action in this city. So many uh, beautiful places, kind of in the downtown and the old city, and then you come to like the main area here, and it's a uh, classic, crazy India. You know, people cutting you off, crazy traffic, and uh, tons of food and little stalls all along the way. Yeah, here. Ah, uh, this is it here. Oh, the egg junction. So we got egg point, the egg walla. Wow. All right. Acha. Wow, there's so many to choose from, Gotham. Which one's the best one? This one, Egg World. <laughs> yeah, we got this one, which is nice. Why is this one better than the other ones? Because this guy been to uh, Master Chef. Oh, really? Yeah, you can see. Wow, Jay Kumar, participant in Master Chef Australia. I not Master Chef Australia. That is so cool. Is uh is Jay is Jay here today? Uh, Jay uh Jay go by here. He will come a little late. Ah, uh, he'll come later. Because they will set up everything first. Yeah. And then he will come. Sure. But whatever they're gonna make it right now for for a moment uh. the, with his recipe only. Yeah. So he 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 he, he taught he them, taught them. Yeah, he teach them and uh, how to make it when he's not here. Ah, very good. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Do they have a menu or is it just uh, you decide maybe? Uh, they have a menu, yeah. Uh, inside here, no? Yeah. All right, so this is a little shack area. We got all kinds of things. Boiled bergie, tandoori omelette, egg crunchy slice, gravy sandwich, cheese sandwich, not a cheese paratha, but a cheese sandwich. Oh my God, so many options here. Guys, apart from cheese and like naan, I think che uh, eggs have got to be my next favorite uh, meal. So they got uh, a very famous dish called uh, egg burji. Ah, egg burji. Which is uh, like boiled eggs, the spices and everything. Ah. And then they got uh, one tandoori uh, omelette. Tandoori omelette? Tandoori omelette, yeah. They use a different kind of sauces. Tandoori sauces. Wow. So uh, some of them they make it themselves. Yeah. And yeah. some of them they, they buy from market. Oh, this guy. What is? That's an omelette yeah, sandwich. Omelette. Yeah. Just an omelette. Uh, so uh, in, uh, normally we eat with the bread inside. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But normally uh, not everybody eat with the bread. Oh, that, that sounds delicious. Yeah. That one's the. Um,
omelet sandwich, boiled burji, boiled burji, and tandoori omelet. Tandoori omelet. So which one do you recommend? I think both are nice. We can try both. Okay, we'll try both. Yeah. Well, actually, let's get let's get um boiled burji. Boil burji. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that one. Boiled burji, when I got this. And only uh, 90 rupees for this. So we got the menu there. Yeah. And he will cook here or? Yeah. Wow. All right. This is literally egg, egg city. <laughs> Everyone's making eggs. The egg junction, the egg point, the egg world. Obviously you can't go past somebody that's been on MasterChef, you know? If you've been on MasterChef, you're obviously a really good cook. So that's the egg burgee there? Yeah. Wow. So it's like boiled egg. Boiled egg. And like spices. Spices. Do they put cheese in there? Uh, not no, no cheese. Not cheese inside. If and it's know. just it's cooked here. Yeah, and it's everything. all cooked by all these spices. That you can see red chili. Wow, what is that? Chili. Red chili. Oh. They make it their own chili. Right? Wow. Yeah. It looks they, spicy. That is so it red. Is spicy. <laughs> the most spicy one. <laughs> he knows is, the spicy. And this is like just basic salt, and they have a, like a different uh, paste of garlic, garlic uh. inside, and then they got a special masala for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call it like sometimes garam masala and homemade masala. And this is a coriander powder, which is like normally you can use as a seeds too, but this is more effective. Yeah, yeah. More flavor inside. Then, apna hi one sir, garam masala. This is a garam masala. This is a masala for the purji only. For the what? For the purji. Ah. Only for uh, egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got all the eggs here. We got some small eggs, some tola tola eggs, and then we got the big eggs. Look at the size difference there. There, yeah, that's a huge egg. I wouldn't want to be that chicken popping out that one. This one probably a little bit manageable, but geez, imagine popping that out. <laughs> all right, getting all the ingredients ready. Let's see how this is made. So the, the, that's the boiled egg, right? Boiled egg. Are you come this egg? Or yeah, you will be uh, more fine there. Here. Ah. Uh, yeah. Do you feel like you? I'm done, you my boy. All, all, all are my friends. Oh, you, these are your friends? Yeah, all are my friends. I used to come every day in Yeah, yeah. Bye, Afghan Amkia. Afghan Amkia. Jadi Buddha. Afghan Amkia. He's shy? He's shy, yeah. <laughs> Is he from. He's from. Huh? I, I see him from last 10 years. Wow. He's from Udaipur? He's from Udaipur. Sure. Huh? Alright. So we got the boiled eggs here. Butter? I guess so, you know, they're gonna put that all in a big pan on, on the hot stove there and then add, you know, the, the perfect amount of spices, the perfect amount of secret recipes, uh, and then it will come out to be a delicious egg version. I know it's gonna be spicy. Look how red that chili powder is. Just smelling it here, it's a massive waff of uh, just a huge scent that are. Uh, it's honestly just indescribable. All, always mixed in one. But, uh, and is everybody here? They are they are friends or are they a competition? Uh, competition. Competition. Yeah. Because this is a very old shop, right? Yeah, yeah. How many years has this one been here? Uh, I think it's more than thirty. Years. Wow. So what? His father. Ah, his uh, dad. His father. Yeah. He started this one, and uh, then he joined his father at the age of 13. Yeah. Very young age. Yeah, yeah. Because of the family condition was not good and they wanted to uh -huh, start a uh -huh. business. So this is the best business because you don't have to spend so much money. Yeah, yeah. You just need to do your uh, or like art, you know. Yeah. Labor. Yeah. Oh, here's the big pan. Oh, so that's where it's cooked on. Yeah. Wow. All right. Look at this. A massive wok. That's where all the egg burgers is going to be mixed in together so these are the things you can get guys so we've got the burji gravy omelette the tandoori omelette wow it looks delicious the egg chopsy the egg nice <laughs> or however you, you pronounce that egg nice egg nice and then the tandoori omelette as well so namasha bhai up to get so plenty of things to eat. I can't believe he was on MasterChef. That's so cool. That's like the best marketing. If anybody was to come to any of yeah, these yeah. stores, of course they're going to come to the one. Most of the tourists come here to eat. The, this one, this specific place? From all place. over the hostel, yeah. hotels. 
who is having local guide uh. they always bring them here because this is the one thing everybody should try yeah ajay do do ngiro ke dena ek baar look at this <laughs> so cool oh wow so right now he's getting all the eggs here and he's basically slicing them off on this bit of string getting them all into like smaller pieces because obviously we got the full eggs there and then slices it in two directions two ways we got the big pan here heating up got some oil on there and i'm excited i'm excited this is a ghee ghee oil ghee oil 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 just normal oil if there will be ghee inside Oh. 4G will be 150. <laughs> God, according to the oil rate, uh, ghee is super expensive. Ah, ghee is expensive now. Three times more. Wow, more than oil. Yeah. Man. Wow. So it's basically just tomato, onions, yeah. boiled egg, and then spices. That's, yeah. That's what and it is, right? Paste. And garlic paste and stuff. So there's all the ingredients. Eggs in the background. Tomatoes, onions, and then all the spices. as well abhi kitne ande ka bana rahe ho 30 ande ha 30 ande 30 30 eggs wow and it will all go in here yeah ha huh? here we go all the eggs are on more oils added and that's just going to get boiled in all nicely wow starting to flame up at the bottom more is added How many years has he been working here for Apne udhar de mujhe Sathi aasa 7 8 years wow Sathi years so there is always the the process when you uh, when you are cooking it's not so easy you cannot hand over anyone for cooking right So for that you need to get knowledge. Yeah, exactly. So maybe start working here for one two years, then he learn it about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then maybe he teach him because he's capable of doing that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at all the egg in there, guys. It's super hot. I can feel it. It's boiling. We got the egg yolks, the egg whites, bits of onion in there, and it's just gonna continuously more eggs are gonna be added. It's going to be stirred around. They're adding some more eggs. Huh? They're adding 10 more eggs. 10 more eggs. So probably 40. 40 eggs. That is a uh, ch charis. Charis. Hello. Charis. 40 40 eggs coming up. Man. I wish I could eat it all, but there's no way my stomach's going to eat 40 eggs. <laughs> there we are. The last bit. 40 eggs in there right now. cooking up on the hot pan a couple of chives oh chili green chili oh yeah this is going to be spicy now we can start wow maybe either there's all the different colors makes it so beautiful look how much tomato is in there getting mixed around And even if I did not order the burgee, they would still cook this for yeah. the rest of the day. Yeah. They they have to. Yeah, cuz lots of people want to come and just Because this is a signature dish for them. Yeah, yeah. So everybody come here for this only. For this this is the most famous yeah. dish of all of them. People can eat omelet anywhere they want. Yeah. But burgee only here. Ah. Uh, and look how much What is this salt? Salt. So much salt being added into the mix. I don't think the camera justifies just how big this is. Like here's my hand for reference. I don't want to get burned, but look how big this is. It's like 20 hands worth. It's huge. How many of these would they do in one day? Like on average. 
uh, is less in uh, summer time. Uh -huh. Because uh, it's yeah, it's so hot. Yeah. Really good, right? so but maybe like. So every day they make more than 50 types. More than 50? Uh, like normally, basically, they put uh, 70 eggs in one time. And they do that 50 times usually yeah. in one day. Every day. Yeah. Oh my goodness. In winter, sometimes it goes 100 plus. Wow. <laughs> That is unbelievable. Like I told you, this is like only the place. Yeah. The best one, right? Yeah. So everybody comes from five kilometers. Oh, they come 10 here. Kilometers. It's starting to smell unbelievably good. Egg is cooking. You can smell salt starting to kick in. And I'm getting a big waft of it. The wind's blowing in my direction. So I'm like, give it to me. I love the smell. With a new bit. Ah, it looks delicious, honestly. So I'm guessing now that this is starting to be almost cooked up, they'll start adding the, uh, the different spices in there. You guys are waiting for the burgi as well? Yeah? It's good? Not sure. We're here pretty early on. It just opened up, but this is the first batch they're making, but people are already coming in waiting for the, for the meal because it really is just so good. And you just pick some of that up different kinds of spices and it's getting added in, mixed around. It just smells so damn good everybody. He's adding chili now. He's oil. So he's adding chili? So much chili. A lot? <laughs> Do you find this spicy when you eat it? Or it's like normal spice. It's good, good. It's good but for me it will be like yeah. for you, yeah. <laughs> little super spicy. Crazy spice. <laughs> but when, when there is no chili inside, you can't taste it. Yeah, exactly. All right, chili's being added. Wow, that is a lot of chili. Oh, two handfuls, three handfuls. There's more chili than there is egg. Look at how much chili there is in there. Oh my goodness. And that, what is that stuff? And that's uh, the special masala. Special masala, secret recipe. <laughs> Look at all the spices that are in the middle, guys. Yeah, now you can do it from yourself. All right, so I've been told not to film this part because he just added a secret sauce that nobody actually knows what's in it. And I'm not allowed to film it, but he's, they look like ketchup bottles. Good? Yeah. Okay, so those two bottles there are the secret sauces that make this as good as it is. And only these people that work here know the recipe of what's inside of yeah, those sauces. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because uh, they have their own uh, recipe for this ketchup. Yeah, like exactly. And people will try and steal it. It's like yeah. KFC's uh, secret yeah. secret recipe. Yeah. <laughs> this is on the road side, you know, like so everybody can come and uh, click a video. Yeah. But they just wanted to keep it very specific sure. for this place only. Oh. But look how red this has gotten everybody from all the spices, from all the chilies. After adding that sauce, it changed the color. Yeah, it's like so it's so deep, dark yeah, yeah. red and brown Green. now. And yeah, exactly. Is that everything now? So now he'll just cook and then it will be served? Yeah. Almost done, right? Oh, a bit more secret sauce <laughs> going in. From my eyes, it just looks like ketchup. I don't know. Yeah, this is a getaway. <laughs> Not so secret. You also have to check out the consistency, right? How, yeah. How thick, how it looks. If it's more red, it's more sweet. Right? Exactly. Yeah. The ketchup. I guess that's like what you learn after being here for eight years. You know yeah. what it's meant to look like, what it's meant to smell like. Yeah. How it's... You, uh, in India, normally whenever you cook something, like also out of India, like all over the world, when you have experience of cooking something, you get a spell and you know what is missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, You're getting one as well? Uh, that's good. I, I have it though. Alright, everybody. So here it is. The egg burgi. The famous 
famous egg burgi right here. That's how it's served. Do we eat with fingers or uh, uh, bread. Uh, with bread? Yeah. Oh, so you kind of like mix it together? Yeah. Oh, that's going to taste so Make good. Make bread, PC, keep it inside and eat it. Wow. Alright, so we'll wait for the bread. That's the bread there being made for us. Over there. It's just a, a couple seconds on the on the hot pan there. Oh, there we go. Alright, so after waiting about five minutes, so we're going through the cooking process for about five minutes, we finally have the, uh, the magical recipe here. Egg burgi in our hands. We got some bread uh, there as well, but I think just to start off with, I'm just going to get a spoonful and I'll give you my initial initial thoughts. It smells really delicious. A ton of spices, a ton of different sauces in there. Eggs, vegetables, onions, uh, tomatoes, chilies as well. So let's uh, get a little bit here and we'll give it a taste test. It didn't. Woohoo! I need pani. Egg pani ASAP. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Look, that's spicy. Woo! I told him to make it less spicy. You, you told him to make it less spicy. This is less spicy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this was big. Keep some. At, at first, yeah. I was thinking like. Oh, it's not going to be that spicy when I had the first mouthful, but after a few seconds, you know, it kicked in. But, wow, I mean, it makes sense. Because you saw how much spice and chilies he put in there, but hey, while we wait for Pani, we might as well get some more into it. We got some bread here with it on. Shut up. Wow. Oh. That is a perfect blend. Lightly toasted bread with a bit, bit of uh, egg burgi. You can see how red that sauce is. I think it's like 98% chili, but wow. Oh. Yeah. It's really nice with the bread. Mm. Super nice with the bread. And nowhere near. Nowhere near as spicy. Oh, yeah. Maybe one of when you mix it with the bread there. That's Sorry. good, that's good. I think it's because I just went like, yeah, that I just took a massive mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> that egg space is good. Right. So you don't, you don't find this spicy? This is, uh, when it's too hot, you feel little spicy. Yeah. When it uh, get normal temperature, you feel no spicy. Ah, so it's just because it's like really hot and fresh. Really hot, yeah. yeah. Whenever you eat something hot, it's really spicy uh -huh, uh -huh. because of the the what do you say the temperature yeah, of yeah. cooking too. Yeah, Your that makes sense. Yeah. And I was going to comment on it actually saying that the egg, the pieces of egg are like really actually yeah. like hot temperature wise, um, not just spicy wise. But yeah, let's get a little bit more. Look at these little bits of bread here, lightly toasted, a couple bit of brown dots on there. But mmm, this is nice. I love getting a bit, you know, mostly the egg there in in my fingers and then straight into my mouth. Man. That is actually so delicious with the bread. It must be like some kind of like sweet bread because it tastes delicious. I absolutely love it. The pani has arrived. Don't you mind, mate? Oh. Good job, yo. Ah. Now that. That is refreshing. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, now that we're cooled down, let's get some more of this. Honestly, the mixture between the bread and the, the burgi is nice. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, it's different, yeah. 
or you already know that's going to be spicy. We've got some chilies in there. And a lot of the sauce, but we got the pani there, so we got our, uh, our backup method. If things get out of hand. Hmm. They certainly did. Someone, someone, someone. Ooh, this is my lunch now. This is your lunch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost midday. Yeah, yeah. I will say, apart from the overpowering level of spice, obviously that's just like my, my to lack of tolerance level, the taste is unbelievably good. It tastes so amazing. Just the, the different spices that you use, all the secret sauces, it actually just like tastes really delicious um, with everything all in there does burji does it actually mean anything or it's just like the name of the dish process the is a process burji burji when you chop it and make it that's a burji oh that is a burji it can be any burji oh. it can be any burji but boy burji because of the, uh, the eggs are boy ah oh, okay it's yeah like boy burji. So you can have like uh, scrambled Burgies, uh, scrambled burgi. You can have scrambled eggs. Burgies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, sure. <laughs> That's cool. What did you say? Cheese. <laughs> I will never turn down cheese. I'd love some cheese. They have cheese here. Yeah. Are you cheese in your Uh, Okay. Got some ass. Do you want cheese on top? And I was like, I'm never gonna turn down some cheese. Look at that big block of cheese being grated on top. Oh, sure. That looks good now. Now, now it just made it ten times better. Yeah, we're doing this now. Yeah. Look at this, guys. What kind of cheese is this? It's a processed cheese. Just processed cheese. Let's uh get. A, let's make a little sandwich, all right? Get some egg on there. One piece. Two pieces. Grab a bit of cheese like that. Hopefully it melts a little bit with the heat of the egg. And then, uh, or a, li a little sambo. That's what we call a sambo, everybody. An egg sambo with cheese. Oh, man. cheese makes it so good wow still spicy but good <laughs> all right everybody we're finishing up here i got through about half of it we got some there we got some bread that boy oh boy when you combine the rajasthani summer heat with uh basically a kilogram of chili with uh, a couple boiled eggs it is a uh, hot it is an absolute killer right now is on fire right now so we're gonna head off but uh we're gonna we're gonna pay uh whoever the owner is i don't know if you pay like the chef or whoever's in charge but one last gulp of water and uh chill off let's go on with the day delicious unbelievably good just very very spicy can you tell him it was very spicy it is very spicy <laughs> for me yeah the taste was delicious so good yeah very delicious thank you so much don't you bye bye all right back on the bike we go this seat's gonna be hot hey oh <laughs> no it's okay Everything in Rajasthan is just you 10 times. Oh, wow, it's like evaporating. See, it's gone. Wow. It's gone because of it. Everything in Rajasthan is just 10 times hotter. <laughs> like, you don't want to get a toasted butt on your, uh, on your motorbike ride. Now we can try. Hopefully, yes. I reckon two minutes and it will dry. It's already starting to dry. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Look, literally, all the bits. That is dry now. Oh my god, that is crazy. It is so hot. <laughs> 40, 40, uh, and it's only midday, like at 2 p.m. It's not even 12. <laughs> Bye, sub.
Danny Vaji. Danny Vaji. Yeah, very good. Very good. I liked it. You enjoyed? Chica? Sure. Danny Vaji. <laughs> Hello. Off to go get some chai. Acha, chalo. Wow. Such beautiful views. It's for for this Agar Lake. For this Agar Lake. What's the name? For this Agar Lake. Ah, what is Sala Lake? Yeah. What does the name mean? So uh, there was a guy, uh, name of Fateh. He was uh, with the you know uh, city palace. So the city palace and this place is a uh, both on the king of Lepo. Ah, sure. So according to that, they place the name for Fateh Sagar. Yep, yep. So Sagar in the in the Hindi we say Sagar Lake. It, it means Sagar. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. So Fateh Sagar Lake. Yep, yep. Some people say Fateh Sagar and some people uh, Fateh Sagar Lake and some say Fateh Sagar. Uh -huh. So it's the same thing. Same thing. <laughs> That's a, a beautiful spot to have some chai and almost get run over by a car. <laughs> he even don't know he's not driving. <laughs> yeah, why is it? He <laughs> people are really funny here. <laughs> Don't want to give an indicator. <laughs> this is the shop. Yeah. So Achha. he is one of the the best tea place for me because I come every day here. You come every day. Wow. Just for for for, well. for milk milk tea or they for have the milk tea. Yeah, and they got really good uh, like bada uh, bread pakora. Ah, so ah bread pakora, like battered bread, yeah, like and fried. fried. They're deep fried, like so wow. uh, the two different slices of bread and the spice inside. So he got his also unique recipe. Ah, yeah, everyone has their unique recipe here, but Namasha ji, kaise hai, theek hai? Acha, he is the owner of the shop, yeah. and this is his son or yeah, he's for staff. Ah, staff. Acha, oh, I love the clay pots. They're so unique. Huh? This is like colored, so it's naturally done. Cup of tea. Acha, what do we want? Do chai? Chai. Do chai, bye. <laughs> so this is like colored tea. So when you drink tea, you get really authentic flavor of the tea. Yeah, yeah. No, like no paper. Yeah. No plastic. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense because it's it's ceramic, right? At least you can feel everything. Yeah. And it's such like a unique feel. You can just smell it. This one, how authentic it is. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. Yeah. No, but it's just normal. <laughs> yeah, it's just normal. Yeah, yeah. Like they wash it. Ah. Uh. When they don't wash it, there is a smell because they have to wash because of the small dust. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Alright, well, perfect spot for a bit of chai right in the lake here. This is just like such a cool area. So many juices. Area. Yeah. So local food. Uh, this is like a tourist market. Local tourist market. So, uh, who is com coming from uh, Gujarat, nearby mm, place, mm. with the bus, with the 50 people, 60 people. Ah, uh, they get dropped here. They come here, they eat here because this is cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody can afford that. Yeah, yeah. That's why. And there's so many, there's so many here. All the way around. We got like Pani Puri, shakes, ice cream. But more importantly, let's see our chai. So, so, it's so interesting. Every. Ginger? Yeah, Acha. Every chai wala has their own unique recipe and own unique process in making the chai. So what he just did, what he did just there was mashed up a bit of ginger and actually uh, put that a tiny bit into the actual chai. So it's gonna have a ginger taste. Kya hai? Then he got uh, he got his like uh, own spice. Ah, you can smell it. This is the secret recipe. Yeah, Acha. Yeah. What is the name? <laughs> so it's a masala for the tea. So it can be possible there is ginger inside, uh, uh. some clove inside, some black, black pepper inside, and uh, uh, there is one or two different things. Yeah. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. You can put nutmeg in the tea too. To make it more rich. <coughs> How many years has he been working here for? Since 1991. 
And his father was the owner yeah. or yeah. Acha? So that is a common thing, right? Like all the famous areas it gets passed, all the famous yeah. food places it gets passed down through the family. Which is really famous, they are old one, right? Yeah, yeah. Medium or no sugar? Oh, lots of sugar. That's the Indian way, right? You have sugar in your chai? In your chai? Yeah. Yeah. Lots and lots. I drink less, right? <laughs> wow. Up the hands here. Udaipur. Udaipur. Sure. Eglingji, Kailashpuri. Huh? Kailashpuri, Eglingji. Kailashpuri is a place uh, from here, which is like 25 kilometers. Ah, and that's. It's a small village. Uh, uh, you can get a temple over there called Eglingji. And that's where he's from. Yeah. So he's moved. He lives in the city now. Yeah. Sure. Nearby, I think, yeah. One, two kilometers. Away. Yeah. And this stall, like it stays here overnight, right? It doesn't yeah. move? No, no, no. So because, he just... Uh, government take care of this place. These are the licensed place. Ah, uh, licensed. Licensed place in the sense, like you go to your, uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stall, so nobody will touch. Because he just pack everything and put inside everything. And locks it up. And lock And then, ah, uh, not sure. And then he can go. Oh, look at this. That's pretty unique. I've never seen... Anything like that, like it makes so much sense. Though. It just holds the <laughs> the chai. <laughs> it holds the chai cups, the clay pots. Adds a little bit of a uh, secret recipe there. Secret, secret, <laughs> secret sauce. So the chai, it gets to a boil, and he basically takes it off and spins it around, and that just mixes everything in. You know, every chai wall has their own unique way of making chai and the little ingredients and that's what makes it so so special is that you know even though it's kind of like a similar baseline recipe everywhere is different and here we go Whoa. and you pour it from a height right so it gets the bubbles yeah that's the reason that's the reason and also that's experience. Experience. Hot thing. Achha. Yeah, we'll come around this way. Yeah, you can come here. It's not uh, hot here. Achha. Done you bye. Here we go. Yes, sir. Please, have a seat. Oh, it is so hot. Steaming hot. I've got to grab it by the top here. Uh, uh, bye, Seb. Ah, deep, deep. Achha. All right. Let's give it a quick sip, it'll burn my mouth, but... Slowly, slowly. Mmm. Oh yeah. You can taste like a little bit of ginger in there. Oh, that's nice. So milky, so sweet. Mmm. That's nice. Yeah. I'll show you a photo. He noticed uh, my hand. Not many people actually notice my fingers until I yes, mention yes, it. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I have the photo up. Bye. Oh ho. What's he saying? He's like. It's scary. Scary. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Don't play with fireworks. Yeah, fireworks and air. Total garden, beta. All right. It's cooled down a little bit. We're about halfway through, but it's so delicious. Drinking the chai. As I was saying, every chai wala has their own like little recipe. They add you know different amounts of masala, different amounts of ginger, all unique to their own recipe. And uh, he was saying he sells dorsal cups of chai per day, 200. It's uh, delicious. So I can understand why everyone's coming here. It's your favorite spot. You like it? This is nice. And you have a, a really good view of the lake. Mountains in the background. It's just a chill spot. Mm. We're almost done. Let's finish it off. We 
अच्छा धन्यवाद Who is the money man? It's the <laughs> Bank of Bank of India. Ah yes. Is <laughs> <laughs> Bank of India. Do Hazar. Do Hazar? Hazar is 1000. Hazar. Very good. Yeah, do so ke dena mega so. Dhanyawad bhai. Dhanyawad. Chalo sir. Bada milte. Thank you very much. Dhanyawad ji. Kya bottle pani de sir? Koi nahi ho. Pani the delicious chai by the water. This is your motorbike, right? Yeah. How much does like something like this cost? Oh, uh, it's eighty thousand. Eighty thousand uh, rupees. Yeah. Oh, there's horses and camels. <laughs> yeah, this is for the activity. Yeah, this is a real action area. Everything. Yeah. You can do all kinds of activities. Most public place. Yeah. Most touristic place. It's nice. Beautiful, right on the water. But uh, yeah, we're gonna finish up the video here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, an enjoyable morning. Oh, another horse. Horsey, nay, nay. <laughs> um, we're gonna finish up the video here. Enjoyable morning in the egg burji and the chai, right by the water. No one's there by. We got three people on a scooter. Only three? Only three. <laughs> you meant to have four or five. Could be more. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. As always, chase your dreams. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.